Welcome to this week's Maryland's Missing and the Murdered. Maryland's Missing and the Murdered is a weekly YouTube channel that covers the topic of missing and murdered individuals from the state of Maryland. This week I'm covering filicides and familicides in Maryland. Filicide is defined as killing of one's daughter or son. Familicide is defined as murder-suicide of one's entire family. In 2009, the Dalton family lived in Mount Airy, Maryland. Charles, 38, was a carpenter and worked maintenance for Montgomery County Schools. Jennifer, 37, worked at a veterinarian practice. Their children were Charles, Jr., 14, and Emmeline, 7. The Dalton family was suffering financial difficulties and their house was up for sale. On September 24, 2009, Jennifer's co-worker stopped by around 2.15 p.m. to check on the family after Jennifer no-showed for work. There was no answer at the door. A neighbor saw a body through a window and called police. Police responding found the entire family deceased. Jennifer and the children were shot in their beds. The family dog was shot in its crate. And Charles was deceased next to the bed. It is undetermined why Charles Dalton murdered his family and then himself. In 2009, the Wood family was living in Middletown, Maryland. Chris, 34, was working for CSX Railroad in sales, while Francie, 33, was a stay-at-home mom to children Chandler, 5, Gavin, 4, and Fiona, 2. The family was in debt of $460,000 and Chris was suffering from mental health issues and was on medication. On April 17, 2009, after not hearing from the family, Francie's dad forced his way into their house and found the family deceased. The children and Francie were all shot and had their throats cut. Chris shot himself after leaving suicide letters which indicated psychological issues. Flight attendant Gail Pumphrey divorced her husband David Brockdorf in 2005 due to domestic violence. They had three children, David 12, Megan 10, and Brandon 6. Gail was living in Woodbine, Maryland with the children and during the Thanksgiving holiday in 2007, she was to meet her ex David to hand off the children to him for the rest of the holiday. They were to meet in Unity Park in Unity, Maryland. On November 23, 2007, police stopped to investigate two cars that were stopped but running in the park. Police discovered Gail, David Jr., Megan, and Brandon deceased from gunshot wounds. Nearby in the park, David Sr. was found deceased from a self-inflicted gunshot. Immigrants from El Salvador, 25-year-old Daisy Benitez and 28-year-old Pedro Rodriguez, were parents to Elsa 9, Vanessa 4, Angel 3, and Karina 1. They were living in Frederick, Maryland in 2007. After Pedro lost his job in March 2007, Daisy did not show up for work. After school noticed that Elsa was absent for days, School social workers went to their house on March 26, 2007. The social worker found Pedro Rodriguez hanging from the second floor banister. The children were located in the house, deceased as well. Elsa, Vanessa, and Karina were suffocated, while Angel suffered blunt force trauma to the head. Daisy Benitez, the mom, was missing. Investigators located dried mud on the brake pad to Pedro's car and dried mud on a pickaxe. On February 29, 2008, Daisy Benitez was found in a shallow grave along the highway near Emmitsburg, Maryland. Mud at the grave site matched to the mud on the brake pad and pickaxe. In March 2007, Carol Danforth asked 35-year-old Gerardo Roque, the father of her two children, Maria Two and Carlos One, to move out of their house in Boyds, Maryland. 
Gerardo was very upset by this. So on April 3rd, 2007, Gerardo picked Maria and Carlos up from daycare and then called Carol. He threatened to harm the kids and then gave her directions to where she could find them. Carol went to the location where she was directed to go and hanging in the woods were her children and Gerardo Roque. Thank you for joining me this week. If there is a Maryland's missing or murdered case that you would like to see on this channel, email me at marylandmissing, marylandsmissing at gmail.com. Music is by Silent Vengeance. Sources will be listed in the outro. Please like and subscribe. Click the bell so you will be notified when the next cases are released. I will see you again next week. Be kind to one another. You never know what will happen tomorrow.